Sarcastic one here, and today we are coming back at you with another video of Tours of Garland. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I've done this, I mean I did the new additions, but today we're just doing a singular little house, and it's a little small, but I thought it looked pretty cool, so uh, here it is. I decided to try out some new colors to see uh, how I would do, so in this one I incorporated quartz, which I've actually kind of liked that recently, and then I've done blue stained clay, hardened stained clay, and dark oak wood and I think it came together pretty nicely and um, the way the house came out on the inside and the outside looks pretty good so uh, without any further ado let's uh, get right into it and go check out the inside and stuff so like I did with the uh, strip mall I added polished andesite here for the porch I think it looked pretty good with the quartz pillars and then right over here I added a little bit of the dark oak underneath and also when I did the a rounding thing here the trim I guess you could say I did like upside down stairs because I saw it on a video and it actually looked pretty cool so I figured hey maybe I should try it see how it looks on my house and it does look pretty nice so there's a little inspiration for you guys if you're about to build a house or anything plus another little inspiration that I saw um, adding banners on the outside of your windows I didn't want add one on this side because I wanted the torch there instead to add the lighting but uh, they definitely do look nice on the outside of your windows but for some reason my banners haven't been working recently just after I put these down so I really don't know what the problem is with that but uh, let's go on inside real quick so here I use a birch wood door it looked pretty nice with the dark blue so anyway we go in here we got the trim this is all the way around the house the quartz pillar trim we have a table over here with some uh, skulls on it I guess just some collectibles or something then you have a flower pot over here on a little table you have cool little carpet design and you have a small little kitchen and this time I incorporated some beacons up in the top and it looks pretty nice just uh, sitting up there with the quartz slab sitting underneath it but this is a little bit of a cramped kitchen but it looks pretty nice we have a nice two store two big two door big refrigerator then we got like the uh, oven here and the furnaces and this is supposed to be like the fan that goes over it and then here's just like a little grill or like table or something and then here's the island that I usually like to put with my uh, kitchens. And you got a crafting table, some chests for food, and you have a banner here to act as a towel. And of course, like I usually do in my modern houses, this is incorporated with the living room. I didn't have much space for the living room, and I was originally going to make it over here, or like right here, but I really needed this spot for the kitchen. I figured the kitchen worked really well here, so I did it right here. Um, it came out all right I mean I do almost every one of my living rooms the same with the recliner and this usually a love seat but I just added a love seat this time because there wasn't a whole lot of room and then over here I just added a cool little bookshelf design or something and then uh, just a little table with a painting and some stuff so we'll go in there in a second but if we uh, walk down this hallway there's only one room and this room to the right is like I guess you could say like a little kids room and it has like superhero poster or something and then it has just the one little bed has a lamp, a nice big window to look out of and just kind of check out the street and stuff. Then, of course, you got your little uh, gaming setup. So you have your laptop and com well, your monitor and your computer, your mouse. And then you got some drawers for clothes, just as you do on these drawers over here. And then if you go back down the hallway to the right that I should said I was going to show you guys, and here is the master bedroom. This one looks pretty nice as well. I added a nice big TV for them to watch like when they're sleeping or before they go to sleep or something or when they want to get away from everybody, everybody else out there. And then you have a little sitting area here, a window, and then you have one of these lamps that I like to do. I added redstone lamps in my sandstone modern house, but I figured this looked pretty nice, so I just added this. And then you got some drawers. And of course, this connects to a bathroom because, you know, it's a master bedroom. So over here, you got your sink. And instead of using levers, I used uh, tripwire hooks, and that looks pretty nice as well. Then I added a little bit of lighting underneath, and I think that looks pretty cool. Then you have a little thing, I guess you could put maybe towels or something on. And you got your toilet, you got some toilet paper there. And I did my toilets a little bit differently. I think this is how I'm going to do them from now on because they look pretty nice. Or I'll do them with just like the stairs and the wool. And then in here, you have your little uh, shower. I think it looks pretty cool because it like sinks down like this and then you got the lights and then you have a tripwire hook that's supposed to act like the faucet for the water. So if you run back out here, 
past the living room, you go down this hallway. There's a lot of hallways in this house. To the right, you have a little another little bathroom, and you have the same type of kitchen design, same type of bathroom design, just all the way around. So you have, but the kitchen, I'm not the kitchen. Why did I say kitchen? The um, sink, the desks. I mean, not the desk. Wow, I am just really tongue twisted today, guys. The wow, I'm just out of it right now. I swear. The counter is uh, usually on this side, and then the sink's in the middle. But I just decided to put it on this side to see what it looked like, and I guess it came out okay. But you know, and then over here you have your toilet and all that good stuff. If you uh, take a left, what the heck? That was weird. Uh, if you take a left down this hallway um, from the living room and stuff, if you take another left here, you have uh, like a guest bedroom because it's a little bit bigger room. Or not bigger room, but a bigger bed. And uh, you have another little lamp like we added in the kids' bedroom. Then you got some more drawers, paintings, and then here's the window that you saw out there earlier with the banner to the side of it. Then you just got a little drawer here. And you figured, well, I guess guests may not want to watch TV or something while they're sleeping, so we really didn't put anything in there. If you go through here, this is my first time ever, but I added a uh, laundry room. And this is kind of like my house because I have a laundry room right before my garage, so in here's the garage. But uh, here's the washer, and then here's the dryer. You got some shelving for some clothes, and then some shelving over here to like fold your clothes, like tables and stuff. Then if you walk through here, you have your garage. It's really small. I didn't account for it to be that small, but there was the... Uh, street right behind it that I'll show you guys that is supposed to connect to the new park that we made and uh, I really couldn't have it getting in the way of it so that's pretty much it for this uh, small house tour I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration from some of the stuff I showed you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace out